I'm sorry the judge didn't agree to give Dennis a suspended sentence. Well, that boy shouldn't spend five days in jail, let alone five years. But I'm sure he'll be paroled after two and a half years. I don't know, Vicky. Sometimes I question our system of justice. Sweetheart, you don't mean that. The judge has to find on the evidence at hand he can't make a sentimental decision. You're right. I failed Dennis, not the law. You did everything you could under the circumstances. Everything. Wasn't enough. You did your best. And no one can expect anything more from you. I know Dennis did not kill Chris Shaw. I'm as sure of that as anything in my life. I should have found Joe Foster. He's the key to it all, Vicki. The police tried to find Joe Foster, and they failed. I should have let Iris hire private investigators. God knows she wanted to. Oh, honey, Iris made a mess of everything from the beginning. You can hardly be blamed for being cautious. A lawyer can't afford to be cautious when he's trying to gather evidence for his client. Well, this isn't the end of it. We may still find Joe Foster. And the DA says that the New York police are cooperating, and he agrees that Joe Foster could throw a different light on the whole thing. Well, at least that's... Uh... Some encouragement. Are you all right, honey? Suddenly, I'm very tired. No wonder. You've been awake since 4 o'clock this morning. Why don't you go on home and sleep for a couple of hours? I might just do that. You gonna go to the TV station? No. I think I'll go home with you. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Here, drink this. Need help. I said drink it. What you want to be? I don't think that's very funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. Now, I really think that was a very stupid thing you tried to do. It didn't seem stupid to me. Oh, no one's worth it, Paige. <laughs> I thought you were smarter than that. I just wish you hadn't found me. Oh, you damn. Lucky I did find you. Damn lucky I managed to get you to throw up those pills. Yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky. Oh, well, maybe you can't thank me for it now. But one day, <laughs> you'll be glad I was there. I have a hell of a lot more to live for than most people, Paige. What? Because you went through one marriage? <laughs> Big deal! Paige, the first time I met you, I'd already been through two wives. You didn't see me trying to commit suicide, did you? I don't have a place to go. I don't have a job. I keep telling you, you can stay at my place. <laughs> Rent free. Well, I'll even give you a job if it'll make life worth living. Yeah, I understand. That, Dennis, nothing means anything to me. You had a case on him, didn't you? 
Look, uh, I know you're not going to believe me now, but you'll get over it. You just have to give yourself a chance. Oh, yes, you will. A year from now, this whole thing will seem like some big, bad dream. Because I care for you. <laughs> I, I try to tell you that, but for some reason you just don't choose to believe me. I'm not worth it. Come on, Paige, you ought to know me better than that by now. <laughs> I don't waste my time on people that aren't worth it. Sit up here. Come on. Just sit up and drink the rest of that coffee. Oh. Every last drop of it. Where are you going? I'm going to finish packing your suitcases and then I'm going to take you over to my place. I was sorry, Iris, that Dennis didn't get a suspended sentence. I felt sure that Stryker Bellman could pull that off. Well, we were all sorry about that. But it wasn't Stryker's fault. He did everything he could. Oh, no, I'm sure he... It's your sister's fault. She's responsible for my son going to jail. Well, I, I, I don't know about any of the details. You're better so... off not knowing about them, believe me. Well, Paige and I never got along well. We were, we were never close. I didn't even know that, uh, that she and Dennis were, were going out. Their marriage came as a big surprise to me. You were not alone in being surprised. <laughs> However, it's all over now. Dennis is going to divorce her. When did that happen? It's been coming for quite some time. Since their wedding day, in fact. I'll bet she goes for a big, fat settlement. No chance. I'll see to that. How is Dennis? Holding up as well as can be expected. I don't think he realizes the enormity of the sentence yet. Well, doesn't five years mean really two years with parole? Two and a half. But if it's humanly possible, I'll keep him from having to spend one day in prison. Paige is the one who should be going to prison. We really ought to be going. Yes, I believe so. Staying busy for a while? Well, maybe just for a little while. Yes. Iris, your niece, Lacey. Hello, Lacey. Welcome. Oh, you're a pretty little girl. <laughs> I'd like you to meet two friends of mine. Ashley Linden. Hello, Lacey. Hello. And Justin Marshall. Lacey? Lacey Hi. Well, how was your flight? It was okay, I guess. Sorry to hear about Uncle Alex. Dad told me. He was my godfather. Oh, he sent me gifts on holidays. He never forgot the anniversary of my baptism. Yes. Alex was the most thoughtful person I've ever known. Well, you must be tired. Uh, why don't I show you to your room? All right. Excuse us uh -huh. for just a moment. This way, dear. This is our housekeeper, Vivian Dodge. Whoa. I have never seen Iris Wheeler as angry as she was when she was talking about Paige. That just may work out to my advantage. How? Dawn sold me her shares at the ranch because she needed money. If Iris has her way, Paige is going to come out of this marriage with nothing. With no job, no marriage, no apartment. Just. Sounds like the girl is in real trouble. I think she would welcome some help from her big brother. <laughs> 